It's the Olympics. And we have got a sporty special, so let's start the show. The 2024 Summer Olympics, officially the Games of the 33rd Olympiad and commonly known as Paris 2024, take place from the 26th of July to the 11th of August. A total of 32 sports, known as disciplines, feature in this year's Olympic Games, combining 28 returning sports and four new additions. While traditional sports include everything from archery to athletics and swimming to sailing, this year's new disciplines are breaking, an urban dance style that originated in the United States in the 1970s, sport climbing, skateboarding and surfing. The name of the Paris 2024 mascot is the Olympic Fridge, based on the traditional small Phrygian hats that the mascots are shaped after. The name and design were chosen as symbols of freedom and to represent allegorical figures of the French Republic. New sports are often added to the Olympics. Maybe these should be included as well. First up, it's Paul, who is limbering up in the lifting the glass competition. Here comes Marcus. He has his own strategy here when it comes to looking at that glass and how he's going to lift it. Back to Paul. Oh, he is really getting his arm up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Oh, look at that. That is quite a technique there, I think, from Paul. He could be a winner in this, but maybe Marcus has got it. Look at this, he is really going up and down with his glass. I wonder how it's all going to end. Oh, here we are, Paul is going in for the kill, the final drink, he's supping it. Oh, he likes a big smile there on the finish. Now, Marcus, how is he going to tackle this Guinness? Oh, is he going to down it in one? Oh, the eyes are fluttering. Oh, it looks like a nice pint. Lovely. It's a rather steep decline in this one, and here is Marcus, ready for the falling down the stairs challenge. He's the first competitor to take part today. He certainly seems to be limbering up. Look, his feet are moving up and down, up and down. The knees are going as well. And I think he's ready to go. Yes, 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 and he's off. Oh, 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 what a tumble. Uh, oh, are you all right, Marcus? Are you okay? We are flying the flag for YouTube. So it's Paul and Marcus on YouTube. Just hit the subscribe button. I have been running on and off for a good 10 plus years. I think it's between like maybe 15 years, maybe. Something like that. Um, I think that running is really good for you and it does help clear your mind and it does release a lot of endorphins which is good for you and it gets rid of a lot of the stress that you might have bottled up. So I tend to come early in the morning because there are less people around and you could do it uninterrupted which is always a really good thing as well. In the summertime it gets really hot so it is often best to either do it early in the morning or late at night so i'm a morning person as you know so mornings fit me a lot better in that respect so whatever exercise you do whether it's running jogging tennis football whatever 
it's up to you, but I would definitely recommend doing your share of it to feel better, to feel alive, and to get your exercise in. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel today. For those of you that have liked it, please hit the thumbs up. For those of you that haven't subscribed already, which I'm not sure why you haven't, hit the subscribe button. It's free and it will help us along our journey to reach a thousand subscribers. And if you want to leave a comment, we do also appreciate that. For those of you that are feeling extra generous you could buy us a coffee so that we could have it while we film these episodes and this will also help us improve our videos on the algorithm and it will help us so please you could do that as well and from, from me and Marcus I think I think we'll get to say bye because I'm getting tired now.